here we go here we go two third coming up <laughs> yeah. What up guys and welcome back to another one. The the yo 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 it, it, for some reason it just never gets old for y'all or me either. I think it's a great intro myself. But what's up guys? Welcome back to another one today. Today today we're doing a solo, a solo dove hunt yet again. This is the I think the third solo dove hunt that we're going to be doing, but today it's a lot harder. And the reason why it's harder is because listen. Listen to that wind. I mean, it is windy i don't get a lot of wind here in my backyard but if you look at that tree over there i mean it is windy it is uh maintaining right now south at 24 mile an hour steady that's not gus that's steady 24 mile an hour plus it's 93 degrees out still come on so if any of you have ever dove hunted in any amount of wind you automatically know how hard it is how hard it gets when that wind gets to whipping, them birds get in that wind and they're such a small bird that when they start taking off fast in with the wind, oh boy, it can be impossible to hit them. So today we're gonna do the limit out challenge with a heck of a wind, let me tell you. I don't know if I've ever dove hunted in this amount of wind because I've learned my lessons many a times. The reason why I'm going out today and, and, and just gonna send it is because tomorrow the weather's changing. It's gonna be a major cool down. It's gonna be the highs down in the low 70s. We're gonna have a lot of rain on the way. So with that little cold front coming, since the beginning of September, we've lost a lot of doves due to the first round of cool weather that we had. So we're gonna get after it. it should it, This might be the last dove hunt of the season. So let's get in the field and let's go enjoy it. Well, my goodness, it's windy. I'm sorry if it's real windy. Ooh, pigeon. Well, just missed a pigeon. They're starting to fly. We might see a couple pigeon today, but for the most part, it's gonna be mainly dove if we shoot a couple pigeons. Hey, I'm all on board for that, but maybe a couple, who knows? But this wind is gonna be absolutely brutal. Um, if the wind has messed up any of this audio, I am so sorry, but that's why we're out here. We're giving it a go because the wind is just, it's, make, it's gonna make it really tough. I hope my mojo don't fall over a million times to be quite honest. Hurry up. There you are. Oh, he down. There's another one. He's down. Two birds down so far. Nice. Got a mark on him right there. I need to grab some shells. Two, uh, two birds down. Just like that. This might go pretty quick. There's one. There's two. There's the other one. Heck yeah. Woo! Two birds down. Literally, I've been sitting on the old bucket for, I don't know, probably not even five minutes. So, we're two birds down. 13 to go. Oh, here's another two more. Another two. Oh, I know I dropped one. I might have just got both of them in one shot. I'll be dad gum. I think I did. Where you at? There he is. Yep, there's one. Come here, buddy. <laughs> I'll be dead gum. Two birds, one shot. You guys just seen it. Oh, here's another two. Oh, missed him. Wow, they're flying, fellas. Two birds, one shot. Holy cow. That was awesome. I haven't done that in a really long time. I don't know if I've ever done that with Dove. <laughs> that was killer. Four birds down, haven't even been here 10 minutes. Uh, right before I pulled the trigger, I was like, oh man, they are close. I might be able to get these in one shot. I didn't verbally say it, but I actually thought it. And sure enough, pulled the trigger, they both went down. The one, it didn't hit the one very hard. It just basically broke a wing and that's why I had to wring his neck. But two birds, one shot, that was pretty, that was pretty epic. So this is actually working out a lot better than I expected with this high wind. I am out on the point of this tree group. When I scouted this field, the birds were flying right here, but now this wind is really making them get down. I mean, it's just really making them stay really low to the ground and they're flying into the wind. So it's making them slow down. They have to fight a lot harder to fly into it to the mojo. So it's literally a perfect situation. Uh-oh, man, they are flying. Oh my. Wow, two of them just dove around here. Did, they came from the south, so they didn't get to see my mojo. They're really starting to hammer this field. Right there. Whoa! 
he got pommeled one down there was a pigeon on the way but i had to smoke that guy if you guys could tell the shot difference i put in one of these ounce and three eighths number sixes from fiachi and uh, i actually put it in because i had a pigeon decoy in and uh, right now i have that mid-range choke in uh, as a lot of you guys know and i told you oh, this pigeon this one pigeon was coming but this dove did it perfect and man i had a i had a heck of a heavy shell in there sorry guy uh, he's not messed up too bad not bad at all uh, i have to use a full choke on the pigeons so with the mid range i like to put a heavier a heavier shell in a little little bigger bb and it helps nail them uh nail them pigeons when i don't have that full choke in oh, we got pigeons boys we got pigeons i put all heavy loads in come on get close come here come here down two of them down oh there's one now i gotta find the other damn where did he go oh right there he is there he is i'll be dead come well it looks like we got two coming from the left boys come on let them come around the corner Oh yeah, there. Okay, here we go. Here's the first one. He did. Well, one more. That puts us at six dove. Well, we're at six birds, and where I'm sitting right now, it is perfect. Let me tell you what. The strong wind is really slowing them down. Like I said, they're really having to struggle to fly into that hard wind. So this is really working out to be all right. Come on, get in here. These birds do not want to get in here at all. Here we go. Here we go. Two. There's two birds down. Third coming up. <laughs> Three birds down. Oh, we've got one flying here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, four birds down just like that. Oh my goodness. Woohoo! Four birds down. I had to, I shot one, two, three, threw a shell in, and banged out the fourth one, baby. If that don't, if that's not awesome and you can't give me a thumbs up for that, I don't know. I don't know what will get you to give me a thumbs up. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Shots like that. There he is. There's the last one right there. Shots like that. Look at that. Look at that. Four birds, baby. Boom. Four shells, four birds. Never cut the clip. Oh, there's sometimes, boys. There's sometimes, boys. You just got to be proud of yourself on your shooting. That was awesome. Damn, I cleaned house. Woo, I just cleaned house. That was awesome. Holy cow, that was some amazing shooting, let me tell you. Check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus the two pigeons. Sitting at ten dove. Just banged out that four. That was that was amazing. Four birds, bang, 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 bang. That was sweet. <laughs> Single. He dead. Oh. Make sure he's dead. He was flopping a little bit. It's one thing about these dove, especially in this cornfield. One thing about these dove in this cornfield, I have to put a bead on them where I drop them, and I, I literally sprint to go get them because there's so many shadows and so much trash in this cornfield, it makes it impossible sometimes to find them when you drop them way out there. So, we're at 11. Four more to go, boys, four more. Oh, one just landed. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Where's he at? Get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up. Oh, he's right here. <laughs> hey, that boy dead. That boy is a dead one. Yeah. There we go. Well, that's 12. Three more. There's one. Oh, go down. There he is. He's down. He's down. Yeah. Here we go. Only need two more. Oh, third shot. Goodness, he was tough to get down. I was shooting behind him quite a bit. Had to move in front of him quite a bit to get that shot done. But we got it. One more bird, guys. One more bird. 
and we are done. Well, we only got one bird left to, to shoot here. And I wanna say something real quick. These solo hunts, especially the solo dove hunts, if you guys are looking for some of the best shooting practice that you can possibly give yourself, I highly, highly, highly recommend you get out there before the dove season's over and you do some solo dove hunting. The reason is being solo, uh, a lot of you duck hunters and dove hunters and goose hunters, you guys know when you're with someone else or in a big group, um, shots can mess your shot up quite a bit. What I mean is if someone next to you shoots before you or right before you do or right when you do, it can make you flinch, it can make you kind of mess up on your shot placement. So honestly, if you guys really want to practice your shooting and get your shooting skills up, go on some solo dove hunts, I just recommend you guys be really careful if you're by yourself. Well, it seems like I've been waiting on this last bird for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna tell you guys, check it out. That green olive t-shirt really blends in with this. It's all the green weeds behind me. You know, it's not winter yet. We got a lot of green around. If you guys are looking for good t-shirts, olive shirts that blend in well, excuse the wind, my goodness. Be sure to check out all of the Ducks apparel down in the description below. I'll link all of it. Go pick you something up. Support the channel. Each purchase goes directly to support the channel. Lucky, lucky winter chicken dinner right here. There we go, boys, woo! I literally just moved that mojo out from the shadow of the tree into the sunlight and that's what did it. The shadow was really keeping the beat of that wing from shining and flickering as much. There he is, heck yeah. That's our limit, boys, woo! Good little tip. If you're sitting out a mojo, if it is in a shadow of a tree or something and you're seeing birds on your field, Move that sucker into the sunlight. Whoo, so that is it. What a solid, solid, epic solo shoot that that was. Wow. But check it out. Oh my goodness. 15 and two pigeons. I love these solo hunts so much. I'm serious. Your, your shooting, your accuracy, your timing, trigger your everything your patience gets so much better when you come out here by yourself and you do some solo hunts you're not having to deal with other shooters distracting you and their guns really making you jump or your finger getting off it just helps a bunch i'm serious but i actually have my truck parked so we aren't getting just blown out by the wind here it's still gusting around 30 mile an hour steady 25 mile an hour and let me tell you the scout for one is what did it but for two where I sat but again where I was sitting it allowed them to really have to buck that wind to get up to that mojo by the time they were there they were slowed down so much that it was really really easy shooting I thought today they would just get in that wind and start whipping but it turns out where I was sitting was epic I mean epic so again like I always 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 push on you guys you have to use the wind to your advantage you can hunt birds off a side wind especially when you can make them buck that wind so it slows them down easier shooting this goes for ducks geese all the above but I'm gonna stop blabbing I'm gonna get to cleaning these bad boys check it out I don't know if you guys have seen it but that is our ducks pocket knife very nice knife indeed that's what I've been using to clean all my game and it is nice. Cheap knife, but really nice. I will link it down in the description if you guys want to pick one up. I want to thank you all for being here yet again. You know how much I appreciate it. If you like this video, please give me a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, hit that little notification bell down there. It will notify you when I upload. Thank you to all my new subscribers for being here. We got a lot of beginner hunters, wing shooters, duck hunters on board and I welcome you all with open arms. Thank you for watching y'all. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.